back on the vlogging game. We have been, not that we've been gone that long, but I feel like we're doing pretty good about being pretty consistent nowadays. We just got back from a long trip, what was considered our baby move. Um, Tanner and I took a baby move, but it was with family. So we went out to 38 for a week. I'm sure you probably saw on different social media platforms. It was a really, really good time. It's so pretty out there if you've never been out in the panhandle of Florida. Like something about the water and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's, it's a lot more flat than over here where we are on the East Coast. But they're really lucky because they get sunset and sunrise just because of their positioning in, in the country. But we unfortunately didn't really get to catch but one sunset because we had some, some cloudy weather. All that being said, it only rained one time when we were there, so essentially it was a pretty good trip. We definitely enjoyed ourselves, and we're just thankful that we're able to go and do things like that. So that was a good time. Now we're kind of buckling down until baby gets here. But yeah, we are just excited to be back and back in a routine. I'm up and head to the gym this morning. I have found like this sweet spot for me for training is from about, so I'm up at five. Um, we're still about 30 minutes away from our gym is a haul every morning but you know I don't have to go to an office right afterwards so I kind of treat it as like that's my time driving to work is whenever I go to the gym in the morning oh, and I gotta accelerate hear that baby roar it's not that impressive but I like it so yeah I kind of just treat that as my time in the gym as my time at work so I drive there and back but I found this sweet spot for me is like training from 6 30 to 7 30 maybe even like 6 15 to 7 30 just allows me like i've been able to eat a little bit beforehand i can get my pre-workout in i can get my pump powders in i can do all the things that i need to and still have a good workout so that's where i'm headed now uh we're gonna give you guys a little house update just some of the stuff that's been done you're gonna be like that's all you've got done but honestly it's harder than you think <laughs> we're still working and like we really haven't gotten a chance to start yet on our homesteading um, stuff with like our chicken coop and our garden and uh, you know anything along. We're gonna build a dock out on the pond, but we haven't gotten to start on some of those big things yet. We're still kind of focusing on getting out boxes. We're building out a pantry right now, which I'll show you guys the before and after of. I'll show you the before. Uh, we started on it, and so we're getting real close. We got all of our boards in and this is like a kind of do-it-yourself thing which has been fun so i'll get some more filming of that today just so that you have it so for some content purposes and uh yeah i don't want to talk your ear off i'll let you kind of just see what we've been up to a little bit uh, just excited to be vlogging again excited to be back getting back into a routine and um i'm gonna go get these games so talk to y'all soon all right so i told you guys we were working on the pantry it is coming together. Let me see if I can zoom out some. One second. There we go. That's probably a little bit better of you. So this fan is going to come out. This is going to be gone. But we basically took three quarter inch plywood and created these shelves. A little bit of space at the bottom and then kind of a narrow shelf for some cans or whatever we're going to put in there. Over here, you've got these bracing. We're probably going to change this out for a different just kind of more aesthetic look, but we still have a lot of room here. We still have access to all of our many thousands of plugs that we have in this room for some reason. But yeah, we essentially created a lot of storage space in kind of a small area. I think the prior owners used this as an office, which is why there was a fan, but it was the perfect pantry space. So just to show you, we got a lot of shelving going in here. Like I said, 16 inches deep, three quarter inch plywood and then some one by twos for bracing. And then we're gonna end up adding some kind of ornamental um, mounting brackets just to tie it all together. So what we essentially did here, these are 16 inches, so 16 inches apart. As you get lower, this is just like a little eight inch shelf. So we can put like I said, cans or whatever. And then we have 22 inches at the bottom for like big boxes that we have. So we're gonna go ahead and a lot of this is gonna be caulked. We're gonna paint, we're gonna do some finishing touches. And then yeah, then we'll have a full pantry system. And honestly, this is a project that if you were to get someone to do this for you, it could be really expensive. If you were to buy the pieces and have like a buddy that can help you, this can be a lot more affordable of a project. Like maybe 500 bucks versus like 3000 if you were to get somebody to come in and do it formally. Uh, and those are like actual numbers that I can kind of quote you on, so. Yeah, not a hard one to do at all, and uh, looks great. Takes a couple days. And
So this is okay, the so process whenever Tanner and I look at a brand or we have a, a deal. What's it say about the, the product? Pet friendly, paraben and phthalate free. Phthalate free, no DEA, formaldehyde or pro no. propylene. One of the most important aspects for the founders was to create a clean fragrance with no harmful chemicals or ingredients that would be safe around kids and pets. Well, that's a big thing that we do when we look at a potential collaboration deal is like, would we... Are we going to actually use it? Do we believe in the product? Yeah. Do like, we back the product? We always look ingredients on everything. And we've worked with them before. Mm -hmm. It's been, but this was before we made like well, such a huge you jump. You learn. Yes. You learn things yes. as you go. Your priorities change and things in life change. Yeah. So sometimes things make more sense than others. And we worked with them and then I hadn't been like diagnosed with Mm -hmm. my thyroid stuff and like once I was diagnosed with my thyroid stuff we really dove into ingredients and like but this looks like it's yeah it says um non-toxic eco-friendly pet safe mm -hmm. no additives chemicals or toxins in anything that is branded yeah. they sell other brands we have to stick to theirs so I need to say that um so I'm gonna say yay this one is exciting Happy to move forward with the collab. I'm gonna say um, happy to move forward. Just want to ensure that the products that we're using are from the brand specifically. With so. me only promoting branded scents um, due to their clean ingredients. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, when we talk about like brand deals, we, we think about the product, whether it makes sense for Oh wait, there's another doing. one. Okay, they got to what we needed. Okay. Oh, it's for August though. I have to look at those products. We did look at them. Okay. So August, we're, we're gonna have the baby in late July, so we're trying to see how much can you, Should I we ask take if on. they can do this for July. September? Or July. Would you say, are they interested in July or September or are they hard on August? So that's another thing. We have to we have to think about the baby coming. So we're we're trying to coordinate around that a little bit with so that Tanner can take a maternity leave of sorts. Which um, I'm so scared I'm gonna like say I need all this time and then be like, what am I saying? I I'm gonna want time. Yeah. But you're also gonna have an itch to get back to work. Yes. After I think after a month I'll be ready to go. Like yeah. Well, what is typical maternity leave? Four weeks? Six weeks? Six weeks paid. It's mm. too short. Yeah, I think it's six weeks paid and then six weeks mamas. unpaid. Um, I'm going to say, yay, are they interested in July or September or are they hard on August? Cool. Lots of things go into it, whether we worked with them before, what the deliverables are. It's funny because there's so much behind the scenes. We may sign a brand deal and you won't actually see it until a month or two later. Like that was a collaboration offer for August or July. Potentially September. Yeah, so we book them out pretty far sometimes. And it also gives you a chance to, if you get the product, that, say you haven't tried it before, mm -hmm. which typically that's not normal for us. We rarely get one yeah. that we haven't tried before, but if you do, it gives you time to incorporate it. Cause there have been times where we've tried things and I'm like, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah. And I have to say no. Yeah. We've had to say no, but multiple times we have morals we did a whole campaign shoot one time <sighs> literally we got everything done and then told the brand like i'm sorry i don't think we can do it this was and this was a multi-month really big collaboration yeah. with a big brand that like everyone knows this brand it's in your house everyone has it but we were like i was just like i just can't it goes against what we talk about well i i got it and i was like oh we've used this before like and then I was like looking at the ingredients as we were shooting the campaign and I was like, I can't do it. I don't know. So if that happens, but. Let me get that. Mm. Baby. Is hurry up. Oh, okay. All right, let's go uh, put this caddy together. I hope you enjoyed that. We're in the nursery and last night I tried to start putting together, it's like this three tiered, dang, I just threw the box over there. But it's like this three tiered cart so that I could put like my postpartum like must-haves that I could just reach for. 
and it's nice because it rolls. And so last night I came up here and I was like, oh, I can put this together myself. I got really far, didn't I, babe? I literally just took everything out of the box. I got the base put together. <laughs> I took everything out of the box and set it there, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to let Chan do this. Yeah. So that's what he's doing right now. This is all postpartum. I'm out of breath, babe. All right. All the postpartum stuff. Nipple covers. <laughs> Nice, that's for me. Little silver cups. Ping, I hope I got the right thing. Throw some of my nipples up there. Oh. Yeah. So, all of this. Oh, you know what? I ordered another one of these. One to keep by the toilet and one to keep by the bed. For toilet paper? No, toilet for like this whenever you go to the bathroom. You have to change your pad. My pads are usually not a deal. Well, your pads are a lot different than my pads. <laughs> All right, so all right. we got it all set up. Good job, baby. That's what I do. This is going to be my toilet side cart. Okay. So we have diapers. Well, they're mesh underwear. <sighs> they're adult diapers. They're adult diapers, but like, look how large that is. For the big booty? Well, they're size small. Dang, okay. But, all right, so we have diapers and then... There's a lot. You're going to be needing that many? What? You think you need that many? Baby, you can change it like multiple times a day. Dang. You bleed for like six weeks. No way. Yes, you do. All right, I think I'm going to put some pads in here. And then I'm also going to make, um, have you heard of the pad sickles? Why would I have heard of that? So you take these pads and you put like aloe and thayers and tucks. Uh -huh. And then you freeze them so that... It's cold? It's cold and you just... Put it on your hiney. Show me again. Why? <laughs> Don't do, do like it that, that hard. You want me to stick your booty like that? No. <laughs> okay. okay, so we got pads, we got diapers. Diapers. We're gonna do this is a herbal perineal spray. Oh yeah, I know that stuff. How do you know? I spray it on places that I want to be numb. Is that the numb one? Isn't it? No, this is the numb one. Dermaplast or um Oh yeah. This I don't think, do they give it to you at the hospital? Like, yes. Okay, so I don't have to pack one. It broke. I dropped it. That'll be fine. You like spray? Yes. Okay. All right, so we got Dermaplast. This is to numb the area. And when I say the area. Yeah, it sounds like a jet plane just took off. When the air turned on? Yeah. Baby. Our air is loud. All right, loud. this is Tux medicated cooling pads. Okay. Hemorrhoidal pads with witch hazel. I might need that, actually. This is sexy. Hemorrhoidal pads. All right, this is witch hazel soothing cleansing cloths. Um, oh shoot, was I supposed to get witch hazel facial toner for the visage? I don't know. We be toning it up down there. Oh my gosh, this okay. is getting weird. Aloe vera. Uh huh. Um, stool softener. Yep, important. That one actually might need to be bedside. Yeah. Is that it? Unless you take oh, your wait. medicines on the toilet. Carry bottle. This is really important, actually. Yeah. You're not going to want to wipe. Oh, I remember that. You are not going to want to wipe. You're just going to want to... This whole conversation makes the back of my legs tingle. Right. Imagine being me. You... Oh, my gosh. Spray it down there. Show me. No. Okay. All right. That's a complete cart right there. I think that's pretty good. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but I'll go through a little checklist and make sure. Um, but for now, that's pretty good. Is bedside for the hospital? No, for oh, the for toilet here. here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's pretty good though. All yeah. Right. So we'll put the next one together when it comes in for bedside. Cool. Cool. Thanks, babe. All my hard work is done. Did you really pretend you did all this? I didn't. I did some of it. I just yeah, didn't do all helped. of it. Yeah. yeah. Come yeah. on, Mel. Oh, this is like the best lighting in the house. Seriously, I'm going to start doing try-ons in the pantry. In the pantry. So we've got all of our shelves up all the way to the roof. Got some brackets on there. So we got a trim plate on the front. Oh, okay. Everything's nice and uh, put together. Tanner doesn't even know. Tanner's like, oh, you did a trim <laughs> plate on the front? Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. It goes up pretty high. And then we got some underneath storage down here, just in Would case. some board batten down there? Yeah, it almost looks like it, doesn't it? Does. That looks good. Those are basically to um, help keep this up. And if you look underneath, we have this part of the bracket so that and you put heavy stuff on this that it doesn't move too much like how tall are these ceilings okay so these ceilings are 10 feet 
And then that top shelf is, uh, what is it, Then seven feet tall? Eight feet. Eight feet at the top. So we got some room. They, the people that lived here before had a ceiling fan in this room. Yeah, but we could put a cute little shelf so, here. So, well, it's not even in the center. We'd have to move it over. Ben, did he talk to you about the lights in our bedroom yet? What? <laughs> lights in the bedroom? Oh, like, no, the light switch. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, it's not? No, I hope this is on our face, but no, it's not that big of a deal. You told me. It's going to take a while. Oh, okay. But it's not that complicated. Okay. It's basically just moving up. We're going to move the light switch panel. That's okay. where the TV is going to go to the other side of the wall. Okay. So we just have to get in the attic and drop it down the other side and cut a new hole. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like it, it just no, takes I, a little bit of time. Okay. And power off and pull the wires. Yeah. Okay. Ben knows everything. It's eight o'clock in the morning and this is how we spend <laughs> most mornings. He wakes straight up and wants to cannonball right into the pool. So we wait for Chandler to get back from the gym. Normally I get in with him. I'm contemplating it, but right now he's doing a great job of independent play, so. What is that, your alligator? Alligator. We moved into this house and it was built in 2008 or 2006. And so there have been like some things obviously that we've had to like fix. Well, the other day, so the reason that I even bring this up is because I have like a few breakouts that I think are because our water softener isn't doing what, like it's not performing 100%. Because the other day I was like, Chandler, our water smells like eggs. And he was like, no, it doesn't. And he's like, you're just being pregnant. You're just being like dramatic. And I was like, no, I it just smells like eggs. So one of his friends were over and I asked him, I was like, Ben, does our water smell like eggs? And he was like, yes. You have to poop? Okay, come on. And Ben was like, yes, yeah, I, smell, <laughs> I smell it. And I was like, please tell your friend that. So anyways, Chandler had to call the company and like explain like, oh, it looks like there's like some water in the tank of the water softener, but there's salt in it, but we still have this egg smell. And they were like, yeah, no, it's not supposed to do that. Like there's something wrong. We're gonna come out and fix it. So they're supposed to come actually today, thank goodness, because one of the bathrooms, even Chandler now like won't go in it because he's like, okay, I smell. Well, let's go. Because he like, anyways, so I think. The hard, the hard water is causing some breakouts. This is the dining room. Still huge. <laughs> That's not an update, babe. We have these paintings. This is the dining room. And we have these paintings with, so we basically have the same setup as our last house. But Chan put these up yesterday with the plant. They put the chandelier up, but today they're actually gonna move it a foot down because it's a little too high. We have the same table and then our mirror. Obviously guys, we're still in the middle of moving. This but is like my tool bench at the moment. Yeah, right now this and is- your makeup station. It literally is everything. Um, so that's the dining room update. And then living room, this is what we're working with. We have that on the table because Xander was eating there, but you can see the vision coming together. We just have to get the chandelier hung, but we're gonna have to like rent a scaffolding and the whole thing. Good, it does still look good. It's just a mess. We got boxes and stuff. We, this looks great. It looks really good. We got the TV up. These sconces Chandler just put up and they look so good. Okay, so we have the sconces that Chan put up that go all the way up the stairs. Um, babe, can you hit that light switch for me? Um, again, these are going to be painted black. We just have to get someone to come out and do it. So the stairs and the railing will be painted black. But yeah, the, the um, sconces look really good. We just have to get two more for up there. Okay, go into the bathroom. Bedroom is slowly but surely coming back together. We just have to hang curtains on these windows. <laughs> like I said, excuse the mess, guys. This is real life, but I mean, that's literally from Amazon, that blackout thing that we just hung to have some darkness for Z. But okay, let's go. I showed you guys the closets, I think. Chan's closet. His, I asked him last night, I was like, are you so happy to have your own closet? Because look how clean and neat it is. And mine, I'm still unpacking. So this is what we're dealing with. Like I haven't even gotten everything hung yet, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Next time you see it, it will be put together. So they finished the tile yesterday in the bathroom. The only things left we have are, they're gonna put glass here and then a glass door but I love this tile and this tile so much. They're gonna put a door here on the toilet room. We have the bathtub. This mirror isn't gonna stay there. Oh, hi, by the way. 
And then um, the cabinets came in. We are just waiting on countertops and sinks. So this is the, this is like a makeup counter here. So once those countertops, they're like a white marble come in. These are front lighted mirrors and then the sconces. And then that chandelier is up. It's coming together. I'm really, really excited with the way that this is coming together. Other than that, it's just a process and I am learning patience and it's not gonna all be done at once. It's one thing at a time. Like right now I'm working on the nursery, just trying to get that kind of put together a little bit so that if baby decides to come a little bit early, but yeah, everything's looking great, moving and grooving. We've got to get curtains and shades up, but it's just like those little things, all the little things just add up. But I'm really excited and happy with the way everything's turning out. So today we don't have help with Z, so we are on mommy daddy duty. So I'm about to go tend to him. We might go for a walk or something. Hopefully now we can start posting more again now that we're in the house and settled with a baby about to be here. But um, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope you loved it. And if you didn't, that's life, man. See ya.